So this is ready, chicken reshmi paneer handi. Make this beautiful curry and enjoy, simple but delicious. Assalamu alaikum. Today I have bought you a beautiful new recipe that is very famous in Karachi restaurant, restaurants. It's chicken reshmi paneer handi. And here are the ingredients. So to start off, I have a kilo of <clears throat> chicken breast that's been uh, stripped or you can have round pieces but I like them like this and these are the rest of the ingredients so we've got a spoon of crushed garlic one spoon of crushed ginger black pepper white pepper nutmeg and zebra powder and this is a slice of cheddar cheese and two just of soft cheese and we've got a glass of whole fat milk, one green pepper and one onion just finely sliced and a tablespoon of desiccated coconut or you can use coconut powder. This curry will be a bit different to the normal spicy curries that we eat but sometimes it's nice to have something different so I hope you enjoy the video and uh, inshallah Keep watching in our next video, we will reveal our new kitchen. So the right way to cook this is, you need a nice big kadai or wok and uh, heat it up. So we're gonna start off with one cup of oil. You can use any oil you want to. So let this heat up a bit because we want to fry it. Once the oil is heated up, I'm adding the, a tablespoon of crushed garlic and a tablespoon of crushed ginger. You can use the bottle one if you want to, but I always prefer the fresh one. So we're just going to fry these for a, a few minutes so the ginger and garlic taste cooks a bit. So once the ginger and garlic is fried, I'm adding the chicken in. I'm going to fry the chicken for about five minutes. Because this is uh, chicken breast, it won't long, take long to cook. So I'm just going to add a, a spoon of salt. And fry the chicken for five minutes. five minutes and it's about half cooked you can see that it looks cooked now so the next thing I'm adding the milk so we're just going to cook it for another five minutes in the milk and then I'm going to add all the flavor to it so with the milk I'm adding one cheddar cheese slice Obviously, this is a curry that you won't eat every day, so you shouldn't worry about that all these uh, cheese and milk is everything is going in. It's just like a curry you will have like just to special occasions. So we're just going to dry the milk up and then add the rest of the spices and add the rest of the ingredients. Because this is a kilo chicken, this is a whole tablespoon of white pepper a tablespoon of black pepper if you're making half of it if you want to do half a kilo 500 grams so it would be half a tablespoon there this is zero powder and nutmeg powder I'm going to use half of the nutmeg because I don't want this flavor too strong so we're just drying this up now a little bit not too much but so it can have like a nice thick consistency and the last ingredient going in the curry now is a spoon of desiccated coconut or coconut powder
so I think about in total this needs cooking for 15 minutes so I fried it in oil for five minutes five minutes I left it uh, when I put the milk in and just a further five minutes to thicken it and it's cooked so I've shut the curry off because I checked the chicken it's cooked beautifully and this is how it should be nice and thick not thin and this is how traditionally it's served in a clay pot andi so in here i'm just warming up a spoon of butter and we need that sizzling and then we're going to transfer it and garnish it so once the butter starts sizzling in the pot you can transfer all the curry into it and you can serve it in this as well so it's like a serving pot also and because it's such a very simple and easy recipe anyone can make this for a dinner party or if you've got guests so it's a beautiful way of showing off your new pot So we're just going to keep it a couple of minutes in this so it cooks and cooks up and then I'm going to garnish it. So the pepper and onion are going in now. Just two green chilies. It's a very mild and creamy taste, so the chili, green chili, would just give a little bit of heat. I'm just putting the flame a bit down so it doesn't dry up more. And the final touch is the cream cheese we've got here. And that is for you to enjoy and try chicken reshmi paneer handi so this is ready chicken reshmi paneer handi make this beautiful curry and enjoy simple but delicious